السلام عليكم ورحمة الله مرحبا بكم متتبعي قناة مشروعة المهاجر معكم مدى حسن في هذا الفيديو هذا آه هذا الفيديو خاص آه غادي يكون أول فيديو في سلسلة تعليم اللغة الإنجليزية وغنركزو على الأدفانس بالضبط غادي يكونوا من بعد إن شاء الله فيديوهات آه اللي غادي يهضروا على اللي غادي يقريو يعني دروس الانترميديت ليفل وربما البيجينرز آه نحاول نركز على يعني الشرح على اللغة الإنجليزية ما نخدمش العربية بزاف يعني مرة مرة أو ربما نقدر ما نخدمهاش آه باش تكون الإستفادة أكثر آه المهم آه كما شرت من قبل في التقديم ديال القناة آه غادي يكونوا دروس تعليم ديال اللغة الإنجليزية بصفتي أنا مدرس اللغة الإنجليزية هنا بولاية فلوريدا في الكاليج آه نعم تندرس اللغة الإنجليزية الأجانب الـ AP بروجرام و تقريبا غنركز على تقريبا على نفس الدروس اللي تندرسو في الكاليج باش يستافدو الناس عموما من هاد الدروس هادي اختاريت هاد الدرس هذا اللي هو درس بسيط بزاف تقدم او تعرف بالبارت اوف سبيتش بارت اوف سبيتش يعني ملاش كيتكون الكلام الجمله اللي كنكتبو أو تنهضرو بيها أش كتكون شنو هما عناصر شنو هي يعني عناصر الجملة أه نشوفوهم داو على بركة الله في هاد ال presentation ديالنا أوكي as I said so you're not gonna hear uh, Arabic just English let's go let's go part of speech so as you see here there are eight building blocks of uh, the English language what are they These eight building blocks or eight parts of speech are verbs, nouns, pronouns, adjectives, interjections, uh, prepositions, adverbs, and conjunctions. These are the eight parts of speech. Now let's see each one of them uh, in detail with examples. Let's see the first one. The first one is noun. What is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, place, or thing, or idea. Yes, a lot of people define a noun as place, person, think, but they ignore the last one, which is idea. So, a person, name of a person, uh, name of a person like James, John, Tom, okay, place like uh, Florida, USA, Morocco, and things, of course. When we say things, we mean Uh, objects and animals objects and animals so all animals and all objects go or get included in their things okay so we define a noun as a name of a person place or thing now let's talk about idea what a noun can be an idea an idea such as such as let's say love freedom uh, poverty slavery success all abstract nouns like these ones are uh, considered ideas we can't classify them under person or people they can't go under places nor can they go under things so they are ideas so a noun is a name of a person place thing or idea okay and there are different types of nouns such as concrete nouns such as uh, dogs cars abstract abstract nouns such as anger liberty and a friendship and by the way abstract nouns are uh, ideas are all ideas okay the abstract means they cannot be seen or touched it's something we can feel like anger like liberty and friendship and love and the examples we mentioned before another example of a noun is common nouns so common nouns are uh, like desks puppies mother you know nouns that we use every day uh, pen teacher school classroom car a person yeah friend these are common nouns and we have also proper nouns proper nouns are the names of people and famous places and areas so uh, juanita mcmillan hip or texas name of places countries cities people these are called proper nouns Okay, so uh, if you can't know the type of nouns, at least you should tell 
this is a noun, this is a verb, this is an adjective, at least. You can tell this is a noun and name of a person, name of a place, name, name of a thing, etc. So, that's for the noun. Let's continue. Now, we're going to go to the second part of speech, which is verb. What is a verb? A verb tells what the noun does or is. So, verbs in general tell uh, or show action and they show a state of being. An action verb tells you that she dances and a linking or state of being verb tells you that the monster is ugly. Okay. So, verbs tell action or they describe a state of being of the subject. He is ugly, she is ugly or the monster is ugly. Okay. Uh, there are different types of nouns. Let me, uh, you know, expand on this one. There are different types of nouns. I mean, of verbs. So we have action verbs. We have linking verbs. Now they are called linking verbs because they link. Like here, the verb to be is a linking verb. It links the subject, which is the monster, to the complement here, the adjective that completes the subject. That's why they are called linking verbs. Linking verbs are different ones such as to be, to become, to smell, stay, taste, feel, remain, etc. These are linking verbs. Okay, so there are, uh, let's say, two types, action verbs and linking verbs. And let's continue with the third one, pronoun. What's a pronoun? A pronoun uh, is a short word that takes the place of a noun. So instead of using the noun like different times in speaking or in writing, for example, pronouns were created to replace nouns to make, you know, speech and writing like smooth. For example, instead of saying Maria is from Mexico, Maria moved to the U.S. in 2000, Maria is a student at, uh, let's say, uh, is a student at uh, UCF University. Well, this is so boring, so we can use she to replace Maria. Maria is from Mexico. She moved, uh, she moved to the United States in 2000, and she is a new student at the UCF. Yeah, so we use pronouns to replace nouns. This is the, the function of pronouns, and pronouns can be subject, just as he, she. They can also be object, just as him or her. And possessive also are types of pronouns. Possessive pronouns, he is hers. And we have indefinite pronouns such as nobody or all. And we have demonstrative pronouns, this or those, that and these. And of course, you know the rest, he, she, it, we, they, him, her, us, we, them, uh, him, her, us, uh, them. And possessive pronouns, he, is hers, ours and theirs and its. And indefinite, indefinite pronouns are nobody, somebody, uh, someone, no one, etc. Yeah. So these are pronouns. Let's continue with the fourth one, I believe. Yeah. Adjectives. What's an adjective? Adjectives are descriptive words used to modify or tell more about nouns and pronouns. So without colorful and precise adjectives, language would be pretty blah. So the role of the adjective is to describe a noun or a pronoun. Example, we have three cars here, presenting a blue car, a red car, and a light brown car. So the adjectives here in these sentences are blue, and it describes the noun car. Red is the adjective, it describes car, and light brown is the adjective that describes its compound adjective that describes a uh, the noun car. Okay, so remember adjectives are words that describe a noun or a pronoun and they can also describe a pronoun let's see if you have an example here i don't think so so uh, let's provide an example of an adjective that describes a pronoun pronoun for example he is happy he is happy so he is an ad is uh, a pronoun and the word happy is an adjective that describes the pronoun happy who is happy he is happy. So he, uh, in this sentence, happy describes the adjective 
or describes the pronoun he okay so let's continue an adverb what an adverb an adverb is a descriptive word that tells more about a verb an adjective or another adverb in other words adverbs describes in a sentence they describe a verb an adjective or another adverb so adverbs describe three different things sometimes they describe a verb or an adverb or an adjective adverbs tell how where and when they answer these questions how does he walk quickly quickly uh, answers the question how okay and adverbs also describe or answer the question where and when let's see samples yesterday adverb of time she ran quickly quickly is an adverb of uh, manner it answers the question how downtown is an adverb of place where okay the most commonly used adverbs in english is very very is a common adverb and it shows you know uh, or describes other adverbs very quickly very happily it says for and they can uh, very can also describe adjectives like very difficult okay let's continue many adverbs end in ly this is very common quickly carefully slowly etc and yeah some adverbs uh, do not end in ly and there are exceptions let's continue what do we have after adverbs we have prepositions hey what's a preposition a preposition shows a position relationship between two or more nouns or pronouns in a sentence she walked through the door into the room so prepositions are through and into so the role of the preposition is to connect words in a sentence connect nouns okay and uh, let's say or pronouns in a sentence the relationship can be spatial now when we say spatial we mean has to do with space as in a sentence above so through the door into the room we are talking about a place describing a place so these prepositions describe a place they're called spatial ones and or time as in a sentence below which is this one prepositions can talk about time after the track meet he was very tired so after is a preposition of time okay yeah so prepositions show position relationship between two or more nouns or pronouns they can be spatial or uh, they can refer to time these are some examples of prepositions and prepositions are many so we have over in out after before up down under into through etc let's see what else conjunctions a conjunction is a short join in words such as and or but for so and yet the function of these words is to join words phrases and sentences or clauses so they join words phrases and clauses together in a sentence slowly and carefully and is a conjunction and it is joining two words these two words are adverbs slowly and carefully let's see more examples a red hat and a white shirt a red hat and a white shirt so and is a conjunction and it is joining two phrases a red hat is a phrase a white shirt is a phrase he had no ticket but he went anyway but is a conjunction and it is joining two clauses remember this is a word here joining two words here joining two phrases and here joining two clauses so he had no ticket is one clause he went anyway now the difference between a phrase this one and a clause is that in a clause we have a subject and a verb he is a subject had is a verb in a phrase there is no subject no verb so a conjunction are or is a word that connect two words two phrases or two clauses and they can go or they are gathered in the acronym fan boys fan boys for and nor but so yet and or okay good let's see the last one i believe interjection is number eight interjections and interjection is a word or words of shock or surprise 
So when we want to express shock or surprise, we use a word at the beginning of the sentence to show surprise. Uh, it's usually used by itself and is followed by an excla exclamation point. Now, an interjection is a word that has no grammatical relationship to the sentence. They don't, uh, let's say, uh, have any grammatical relationship with the sentence, like relationship between a subject and a verb, an object with a verb, or object or preposition. Is there is no connection between interjection and the rest of the sentence. Means we can keep them. The sentence makes sense. And if we omit them, the sentence also makes sense. Okay, examples are wow. Wow is an, is an interjection. B puts wow and exclamation mark and then we continue the sentence. So uh, interjection has no relationship to or grammatical relationship to the sentence. Cool, awesome, and so on. My goodness, God, my God, etc. Yeah. Okay. These are the eight uh, parts of speech. Uh, let's summarize them. Parts of speech are nouns. I'm not going to, uh, you know, list them in the way I, I explained them in the right order. So they are interjections, prepositions, uh, adjectives, nouns, verbs, uh, let's say conjunctions. And uh, we said interjections, uh, adverbs, adjectives, noun, verbs. Uh, conjunctions and what else prepositions I believe yes these are the eight type of uh, pre uh, I mean uh, parts of speech yeah let me know you can read you have come there's a special lot of ya had a whole video can show you that's my doros the law in jesus yeah new world advanced level it's my icon fat com you can start him of a ولو انني زربت شويه المهم آه الى شفتو فيديو آه مفيد بزاف ما تنساوش تشاريوه مع صحابكم اللي كيتعلموا الانجليزيه في الادفانس ليفل ما تنساوش تسجلوا في القناه مسؤولات المهاجرين ودعكم كان معكم هذا حسن السلام عليكم ورحمه الله